I am not a fan of technical or academic definitions, but I'm going to say that data analysis means summarizing data and comparing the results. You see, every time you say you are analyzing something, all you are actually doing is getting into a position where you have some options and you want to compare them for the sake of making decisions. So analyzing data goes hand in hand with visualizing it because the analysis actually starts from the summary of the data and then the comparison of the results, right? So data visualization means displaying summarized data in graphical form. Another thing that we we'll also have to talk about in the context of data analysis and visualization is reports and dashboards. So if you do a simple Google research to understand uh, reports and dashboard, I'm sure you will find a lot of write-ups and uh, opinions. But how I would like to describe it to a five-year-old is simply like this. Imagine you have a son who has just gotten home from his friend's house and he comes to you to say, my friend slapped me. Consider that as a visual. All right. So my friend slapped me. That's one visual. But if he continues to say, then I slapped him back. That's also another visual. But you see, because the story did not end at his friend slapping him, he's starting to give you a report, actually. The fact that you now have two different visuals to consider, telling you different things about the incident, then you are starting to have a report. He will probably continue to give you more details about what transpired between them. Each of those details basically has their own context and they stand as their own separate visuals. But at the end of the day, you are probably going to pick some key moments from his description, from his story that you want to use to respond to him, right? Now, those key ones that you feel are important in the whole context of the description of the fight between him and his friends, those key guys, they are basically what we can refer to as your dashboard. So in essence, reports are usually collections of visuals and they are usually more detailed. While dashboards typically display key metrics that are used for instant decision making, right? And many of the times they are actually summaries from the reports. Let's take a look at a very, very simple example. So say you have some car sales records where you have data about brands, uh, VIN numbers, and sales amounts. Now, if you start to look at the data sets, I'm very sure that, you know, looking at the data in its raw format is only going to give you details when you read it, right? You are never going to get any insight from it. All you do is read the data and you can't make any sense of whatever you are reading until you are able to do some kind of summarization of that data and then after summarizing it of course you are going to have some ideas but it's only when you put it into a visual form that you start to have better insights about the data and that's the whole essence of data analysis and visualization so you summarize in your analysis part you visualize for you to be able to compare in your analysis and then the insight that you get from there from your summary and your visualization basically is part of what you want to use to make your decision which is typically the outcome of your analysis so when you have this kind of car sales records for example you will see that you can basically just read all of the columns read all the data points and you're unable to make any decision from this right as a matter of fact it doesn't make a lot of sense to you until you summarize. So when you summarize this, you eventually find out, for example, that, you know, of all the details of the cars that you have seen, you can summarize to say there are 10 cars in total that were sold, right? This is a single visual, okay? By the time you add more context to it by bringing in another visual to display the number of cars that were sold, according to the brands of the different cars that you have. Then you are starting to have a report. And you can basically bring in more summaries, bring in more details 
into this and you basically have a report for yourself now because there are several things in details in other different parts that you are going to consider right now you have the number of cars sold you have the number of cars sold according to the brand of the cars you have the total amount of money you made from your car sales and you also have the total amount of money you made from each brand from your car sales so now you have a report which is made up of different visuals but at the end of the day there is probably one or two things from this report that you always want to track on the go for decision making right so maybe you will have a target for example to say want to sell uh 12 cars so once you hit that target you are probably going to maybe pay some bonuses or something like that so the number of cars that you have sold can stand as a key metric that you always want to monitor you want to be able to look at it at every single point in time so that you will use that to make a decision right so you probably want to pick out two out of these guys and you want to separate them as something that you monitor on the go and that basically becomes what your dashboard is